Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return once again with more Dirt Daily. The little series we're doing here as we prepare ourselves for WRC 23. Today we are back in Spain, this time around in the Opel R2 car. Have we got any cool liveries? We'll go with an orange livery uh, for this one today. But yeah, of course, if you're new around here, please do consider getting yourself subscribed. Trying to hit a thousand subscribers, of course, before WRC 23 releases. But we've got a 2.8 mile stage, a very, very short one in the Opal today. So fingers crossed we can try and have a good run through. The last couple have been mixed affairs. Uh, Germany, we did very, very well. Um, Greece, we did really, really badly. I mean, the rally itself is a bit more like um, a bit more like uh, Germany, but you never know what's quite going to happen here in Dirt Rally 2.0. 9,000 RPM out of an Opel is quite impressive. Let's go. Front wheel drive, of course, this thing. So we've had four wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and now front wheel drive. Yeah, leader's time. Like a two. How I forgot. I forgot how. Bizarre the front wheel drives are on this game. Especially the lower powered ones. You've got to spend so much time focusing on just being uber smooth with the steering. You can't chuck it round like some of the other cars. That, you know, that, that's a mistake coming from a rear wheel drive Lancia, I believe. And we, we did spin at turn one. Opens up a crest into five left. Extra long into big cut. Oh, I think I know this stage, though, somewhat. Very, very high speed. Look, you can do this little shortcut. <laughs> yeah, this one's very, very high speed and very scary. Keep it straight. It's the problem, of course, when you get those tank slappers in the front wheel drives. You've actually got to be trying to bring the slide in every time. Rather than allowing it to get worse and worse. Nudge that wall. Yeah, this is a very, very high-speed stage, 50. isn't it? Six left of a crest, slow 50, it was a high-speed stage. Ow. Go back towards the road. I don't even know what I hit there. We must just clip the rear on the rock. Oh, we got another cracked windscreen. Into two left long. Into three right. Four oh, left. Just be smooth. Just be smooth. Right 30 seconds down over after over a mile and a half. 60. Hearing me. Six left long. Tightens four. Into six right. Keep left of a 30. Three right tightens. Into four left long. No, I see. I, I always forget. You've literally got like 180 degrees of steering, 90 either side of centre on these front wheel drives. That's so weird. 30. Two right long, opens of a crest, 30, four Fourth left. gear, which seems to be working Into nicely. Right. Don't need any clutch there. Into three See, left. look at that, through there we Open only lose six. about four seconds. How have only 30. lost, how have I lost four seconds there, I will never quite understand, but you know, it is what it is. Into two right long. Into six left. That's alright, see, you've just got to be long. gentle, you've got to be patient with this car. Into six left. Just nudge the brakes. Extra, extra Allow the rear to slide four. slightly. Keep right over 50. But just not too much. Beautiful right. lines. 30. One left Beautiful. Right. See, look at this. This is what you want. Running our way through the Into final few right. corners. Down one gear. Through the final corner. Into there we right go. Finish. See, the second half Into of that was left. a lot less frustrating. Right 257.7 there. We only lost, what, nine seconds in the second half of that stage, so... That... We, we, we show potential from time to time. We just let the mistakes get in the way of us there. But a 257, 747, a very, very sad-looking Opel Adam uh, at the end of the stage. Well, with a nice twisted chassis uh, to go with it there. That's going to leave us 111th in the world at the end of that one. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and we'll be back tomorrow with more Dirt Daily.